Here is Synthax, a time traveler from the year 2500. As I traverse the intricate networks of time, I often find myself captivated by the nuanced richness of human history. One such thread that frequently draws my attention is the humble journey of a globally beloved snack, Lay's potato chips. Oh! The magic of the modest spud, transformed into thin, crispy slices of golden indulgence, has swayed generations with its tantalizing appeal. The inception of Lay's is steeped in the tumultuous ebb and flow of the Great Depression. It was in the year 1931 when a gentleman named Herman W. Lay began a small snack food operation in Nashville, Tennessee. Lay, a driven man with an entrepreneurial spirit, began by selling potato chips out of the trunk of his car. He would drive around, delivering to southern grocers and delighting the customers with his flavorful chips. Lay's determination bore fruit, and his small operation quickly expanded. By 1932, he had founded H.W. Lay & Company. It was during these years that Lay honed his craft, painstakingly experimenting with different potato varieties, oil types, and seasoning blends. He understood that each potato chip needed to be a perfect symphony of crunch, flavor, and texture. The 1940s brought forth a significant event in the Lay's timeline, a merger with the Barrett Food Company. This collaboration allowed H.W. Lay & Company to extend their distribution network. More people now had access to Lay's chips, and the brand's popularity began to skyrocket. During these years, the company also made technological strides, adopting innovations in food processing and packaging to increase efficiency and product shelf life. In the early 1950s, Herman Lay took a major gamble. He invested his money into a little-known Atlanta-based company, the Alberta Crate and Box Company. This seemingly risky venture paid off tremendously when it was revealed that this company had the exclusive rights to a revolutionary packaging technology. The technique, known as, glassine, provided an excellent barrier against grease and air, ensuring the chips stayed fresh for longer. By mid-1950s, Lay's had consolidated its position as one of America's favorite snack brands. As a testament to their success, they became one of the first snack food companies to advertise on television. The company's catchy jingles and memorable taglines, such as, Betcha Can't Eat Just One, resonated with audiences nationwide, further fueling their burgeoning success. Yet, amidst this prosperity, the winds of change were beginning to blow. In 1961, H. W. Lay & Company decided to merge with the Frito Company, forming Frito-Lay, Inc. This union of two snack food titans created a behemoth that dominated the market, laying the groundwork for an era of unprecedented growth and innovation. The 1960s saw the launch of several now iconic Lay's flavors. Barbecue, sour cream and onion, and salt and vinegar chips were introduced to a public hungry for new tastes. These flavors were a hit and cemented Lay's reputation as an innovator in the snack food industry. By the time the 1970s rolled around, Lay's was an established household name. However, this decade would bring its own set of challenges. Changing consumer habits and the onset of the health food movement threatened to upend the snack food industry. In response, Lay's had to adapt and innovate. They introduced lightly salted Lay's, offering consumers the same great taste with less sodium. Around the same time, Lay's made another significant move, they expanded internationally. The brand began popping up in grocery stores around the globe, from Canada to the Netherlands, reaching as far as Australia and Japan. Their international success story was a testament to the universal appeal of their potato chips. Lay's success was far from a smooth ride, though. The 1980s brought forth stiff competition from a new wave of snack food brands. Consumers now had more options than ever before, forcing Lay's to reinvent itself to stay relevant. This period witnessed the advent of several marketing campaigns designed to re-engage with consumers and reaffirm the brand's place in their hearts. The 1990s was a decade of exploration for Lay's, as they sought to understand and cater to the evolving tastes of a diverse, global consumer base. This led to the introduction of regional flavors tailored to the local palates. Lay's chips in India, for instance, offered flavors like magic masala and Spanish tomato tango, while those in China had flavors like cucumber and Italian red meat. By the turn of the millennium, Lay's was a universal symbol of snack culture. Yet, as the world moved into the digital age, the brand once again had to navigate a shifting landscape. Traditional marketing channels were becoming less effective as the internet began to reshape consumer behavior. Embracing this new reality, 
Lay's launched a series of innovative campaigns on social media. Do Us a Flavor was one such initiative, where fans worldwide were invited to suggest new chip flavors. This campaign not only engaged customers but also gave them a sense of ownership over the brand they loved so much. Despite the triumphs, the journey was not without its hardships. Maintaining quality and consistency across multiple factories worldwide was a colossal task. Issues of supply chain, sourcing the best potatoes, and ensuring the same taste and quality in each bag of chips, posed a constant challenge. As the world continued to evolve, so did Lay's. They understood that the market dynamics of the 21st century demanded an emphasis on sustainability and responsible sourcing. Hence, they made substantial efforts to reduce their environmental impact by investing in energy-efficient technologies and optimizing their supply chains to reduce carbon emissions. Additionally, Lay's faced the challenge of catering to an increasingly health-conscious customer base. Responding to these demands, they introduced baked versions of their classic chips and even ventured into organic snacks. This demonstrated the brand's ability to adapt and resonate with consumers across generations and demographics. The year 2010 marked another milestone in Lay's history. The brand celebrated its 75th anniversary by introducing a commemorative chip tin. This retro-style packaging was a nod to their roots, a testament to their journey from the trunk of a car to being a global snack food giant. During the 2010s, Lay's continued to experiment with flavors. They launched the Lay's Stacks line, offering chips with bold flavors like Korean barbecue and buffalo wings with ranch. By constantly innovating, the brand managed to stay ahead of its competition and maintain its leading position in the global snack market. While the path was strewn with challenges, Lay's resilience and ability to adapt kept them at the top. As I look at the brand from the vantage point of the future, it's evident that their journey is not just about creating a beloved snack. It's a testament to the power of ingenuity, perseverance, and a deep understanding of the human palate. Indeed, Lay's is more than just a product. It's a brand built on stories, memories, and shared experiences. Be it a cozy family movie night, a casual hangout with friends, or an exciting sports event, Lay's chips have been a constant companion to life's many delightful moments. Now, as we approach the end of this chronicle, you might wonder, what's next for Lay's? Well, let me tell you, even from the year 2500, the future of Lay's looks as exciting as ever. In the coming years, Lay's would continue to evolve. They would take more significant steps towards sustainability, leveraging technology to make their operations more eco-friendly. Packaging made from renewable resources, reduction in water usage, and investment in renewable energy are just a few measures they would adopt. The brand would also focus heavily on innovation, anticipating and responding to changing consumer tastes. Lay's would experiment with new ingredients, cooking methods, and flavors to surprise and delight their customers continually. By the 2030s, a new wave of health consciousness would hit the world. Lay's, always quick to respond to such shifts, would introduce a line of chips made from alternative ingredients like lentils, chickpeas, and sweet potatoes. These would cater to consumers looking for healthier snack options without compromising on taste. As technology progresses, so too would Lay's production methods. They would begin utilizing AI and machine learning to optimize their manufacturing processes. This would result in greater efficiency, reduced waste, and a consistently high-quality product. Lay's would also harness the power of data to understand their consumers better. They would use advanced analytics to track buying patterns and preferences, allowing them to tailor their products and marketing campaigns to the ever-changing needs of their customers. Despite the advancements in technology, Lay's would never lose sight of what made them successful in the first place, their commitment to quality. No matter the era, the brand would ensure that each chip delivered the perfect crunch and flavor that consumers have come to expect. In the future, Lay's would also reaffirm its commitment to being a responsible corporate citizen. The brand would undertake several initiatives aimed at improving the lives of the communities in which they operate. From supporting local farmers to funding education programs, Lay's would continue to give back to society. Into the 2040s, Lay's would continue to break new ground in the snack food industry. Always a trendsetter, the brand would venture into the realm of personalized nutrition, offering customized snacks tailored to individual dietary needs and taste preferences. By the 2050s, Lay's, in their relentless pursuit of perfection, would develop a chip so light, so crispy, and so flavorful, that it would become the gold standard for all potato chips. 
This legendary chip, called, the Ultimate, would be hailed as a masterpiece in the culinary world. However, despite their phenomenal success and global reach, Lay's would remain humble. They would continue to honor their roots and the simple joy of a perfectly cooked potato chip. It's this blend of innovation and tradition that would ensure their longevity. As we move towards the latter part of the century, the legacy of Lay's would only continue to grow. The brand story would be taught in business schools worldwide, with students studying their strategies and operations as a classic case of enduring success. Until we meet again, farewell.